All right, so I'm going to show you kind of your way around InDesign. Um, this is the page that we had you lay out. Uh, this is the way you audited it. Um, okay, so up here you have like your regular stuff like font. This is your font size. Uh, over here is like the spacing between lines. This is to make something like all caps. It's actually kind of useful. Like you do, can do that and all caps and you click it again to make it back normal and this is small caps so like if you see everything looks caps locky but then the s the like capitalized stuff is a bit bigger this is for superscript subscript underline and cross through you you can do multiple ones at the same time all right this is for the spacing between letters up here is how tall the letter is. It kind of like elongates things. Um, this is like kind of a faux bold. You can make the letters fatter. And this is like a faux italics. You can make them lean. Um, over here is your general like this is uh, like a line left. This is justified left. So the difference between something that's aligned left and justified left is when it's justified like the columns of text will be even. If you look at the text, see how the columns are just straight down? Like, if, if I were to click this and hit a line left, see how everything's uneven? That's why we do justify left, so that everything's clean and in columns, it's really nice. All right, so if you go over here um, to this little paragraph symbol, um, this gets you your paragraph options. So the align stuff comes back, but then the kind of the only thing you really need here is the um, indenting. See how there's like that little arrow to the first line? That means that's like the first line indent. And we do 1P6 or 1.5 picas because there's six like mini picas in every pica. All right, um, color, there's, this is pretty self-explanatory. Um, okay, so some useful tips about measuring things and making things exact. Uh, you hit W to show all the lines, right? Um, if you zoom in, okay, so see this corner over here where my cursor is? It you click it and then it has this kind of like cross type thing right wherever the cross meets those are the new zero points okay and i'll explain really what that means in a second so right here if you go back um right here this is like my new zero point so when i bring down a guideline see how i'm bringing down a new line see how when i go down over here wherever i went it's like um it's zero if you look at the x y coordinates in the top left corner um it's like it shows you like zero picas right you can also select the guideline it's selected when it's a darker blue and then choose well for this because it's a because it's a horizontal line you choose the y coordinates so what if i want to be zero picas i would hit zero and it would just align with where the zero was see but now i want to move the z I, I moved the zero point like here right so now if I click back on the line now it's two and two picas and eleven and a half mini picas above the zero line that's what the negative means it's above it's kind of flipped um, so that's basically the easiest way to measure things so say I wanted to make sure that this was 0.5 picas above the byline so you zoom in a little bit and the closer you get, the more exact you're going to be. You bring down the guide ruler and line to the bottom. And then and then you um, can bring down a guide line and then move it to 0p6. That means 0.5 picas. And you can see that blue line. Sorry, I went the other way. That blue line isn't exactly a match up with the byline, so I would move the byline down to there.
and then I would have to move the columns down. So that's the fastest way to measure things. Um, you can also look at the, this ruler, these rulers on the side for um, guidelines, but it's kind of confusing sometimes. Like, look, it says 0, 2, 4, 6, 8, and that's the number of picas. But when you move in a little bit, it's 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, that's right, my picas. But then if you go in more, uh, all right, see how, where's my zero line? Let's see, it's gonna be confusing. Four, five, two, one, zero. Okay, so see how it says zero, six, one, six, two, six, three. So this is where your zero is. And I don't know, this is not helping me see much clearer. This is where your zero, maybe if I control, no, can't do that. Okay, here's where the zero line is, and here's one pica. This isn't six picas right here. This is six mini picas. So the more you move in, the more increments you're going to see. See, now it's zero, three, six, nine, one, because there are 12 mini picas in every pica. So this whole thing right here is one pica. This is uh, a fourth of a pica, one half, three quarters, and one whole pica. So it kind of gets confusing. Like when I first did my, when I did my first layout, I was like, I thought that was three picas, and I 